Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. So we also got a TV spot to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows during the Super Bowl. And I gotta say that I, I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As a kid, I was ever like... I'm not into them like I am to some of my, you know, comic books and things like that because I don't know, like, every detail. I don't know every villain. I just know the basic characters, but I still love them. I used to watch the cartoon as a kid. I love the first movie um, from the, I think it was in, made in 1990, and, you know, I love that movie. I've never seen any of the sequels to it, though, mainly because I just never wanted to. I also used to have a pet turtle as a kid named Cecil. I used to pick him up out of his pen and go, heroes in a half shell, turtle power. So, yeah, I do love the teenage. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and when I heard that Michael Bay was making a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, I rolled my eyes. I never went to go see it. I've, you know, never cared, you know, about it. I just, I got my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies, and I got my cartoon series. I'm happy. You know, I got, like, there's nothing else that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's nothing that else that needs to be done with that franchise to, like, get me into it. But this movie, though, it's kind of getting me interested. Like, we get to see some things that, you know, I saw in the cartoon series that we never really got to see in any of the movies. Some of them at all. Like, the turtle van. We never saw the turtle van in live action before, and it's really cool to see that. I had the toy turtle van as a kid and everything. I love the turtle van. And it's so cool to see it. Again, though, this the uh, it's just a CGI fest of explosions and everything. It looks like it's going to be a Michael Bay movie. But... This is just pure fan service to this trailer, and it seems like it's making some fans mad that, like, you know, some details on some of the villains are wrong. Um, I've noticed uh, on Twitter and Facebook and everything, people are posting that, and, you know, it doesn't bother me because, like I said, I don't know everything about every villain, so, like, you know, I'm just like, nah. The one villain, though, that they screwed up in the last movie that I saw in the trailers, like, that, that does not look like him, was the Shredder, and it looks like he's coming back in this movie, so maybe they'll correct that, but it's just that... I'm tired of seeing the Shredder. That's the only villain that we've ever really gotten exposed to in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle universe, in any of the movies. We never got any of the other villains, so it's really cool to see that. Megan Fox is like, you know, April O'Neil. It's just like, eh, it's... That's like the last person I've ever think to play April O'Neil. There's so many other people that they could have gotten to play her. It's just like, why Megan Fox? It's just... It's dumb. The turtles still look pretty ugly, and, you know, it's obvious that they're CGI. And there's one part in this, in that, you know, this, I think they showed it a little bit in this trailer, and in the last one, is that the turtles are, like, they, sh they show themselves. They're talking to, like, the media and everything. It's like, well, no, wait a minute. You guys are supposed to be sewer dwellers. That's like when Batman went out in front of a crowd and Batman and Robin. It's like, why are you doing that? That's stupid. It's obvious that Michael Bay is, like, involved in this and everything. It's just really just over the top, the explosions and everything, it's just, eh, it, it, some of it doesn't feel like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but, you know, some parts of it, it, it does, you know, with this trailer, so, I'm, actually, I'm interested in this movie, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm interested in it, just because I do love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I want to learn more about their universe, and actually, like, right now, I'm actually kind of getting into the Nickelodeon series that's coming on, oh, and then we see Casey Jones in this trailer, we gotta talk about that, the guy who plays Arrow is playing him, and that's a good choice, it's really good, actually, now that I think about it, I still love the Casey Jones from the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, so, yeah, but this one, it looks cool, it looks like it's gonna be a fun movie at the least so i'm i'm hoping that it's good and that you know it's not just transformers with the teenage mutant ninja turtles which what i'm kind of hearing the last one was but anyway that's just my thoughts on it tell me what you thought about it in the comments below as always if you like what you see go and hit subscribe follow me on facebook and twitter the links are in the description below and remember i waste my money so you don't have to thanks for watching